The first extension I want to talk about is one that I mentioned previously in a video, but the tool has changed a lot and improved since then. So the extension is called AIPRM. And once you've added it to your Chrome, you're basically going to see a pretty large list of pre-built prompts for ChatGPT. This is really going to help you speed up those outputs. Now, what has changed about this extension? The main thing is the number of prompts, and this is because they've added a really cool new community feature. What this means is that you can basically basically now see how often people have seen the specific prompt, how often they've used it and the number of upvotes. So you can use the most popular prompts available. And the cherry on top guys is that you can create your own prompts, save them and submit them to the world if you think that it'd be useful for other people as well. So there's going to be a lot of different prompts here that I recommend that you guys check out. A lot of them are actually connected to generating full SEO optimized content and articles. So here's one human written plagiarism free SEO optimized content. Recommend you guys play around with that. Keyword strategy we actually spoke about about in the previous video, but there's one that stood out to me that's quite new as well. That was this one right here, silo structure, right? So you can basically create a silo structure for a website using one keyword. Again, generating all of these things with one keyword still blows my mind. So let's say I type in garage door repair and we're gonna let it work here. And so what it's going to do is it's basically gonna give us a couple recommendations on the pages that I should be building if I'm creating a brand new website for this specific keyword. So we have the homepage, some of the topics that I should be including in that homepage, the about us, which is super important, some service pages that I could be creating, as well as the areas, the blog, and some recommendations of how to do all of that. So it's not going to be perfect. And I do recommend that you plug any keyword that you're going to be creating content for into some type of keyword research tool. But this can be of great help to a lot of you starting off with a brand new website, especially if you're not sure what type of content to tackle first. Now, apart from that, guys, there's an insane amount of prompts that I recommend that you guys check out. But let's talk about creating our own prompt, because this is extremely powerful, especially if you haven't found one that satisfies your need. Now, creating a prompt isn't really that difficult. There's a few things that we need to work on. The main one is the prompt template. Now, you are going to need to look into prompt generation a little bit. And what I recommend is actually creating things with a pre-existing prompt and looking back at how that prompt was generated. So let me give you guys an example for the silo structure prompt that we just used. If we click back into the chat after having generated, we can basically see what what the prompt look like. So create a detailed style structure for website using the keyword X. And then we have the sections and the categories, so on and so forth. So let me give you guys another example. Let's say that I type in a pretty popular one. Um, so the most popular one here, so human written plagiarism free, I enter a blog title, best dog treats for small dogs, I'm going to let it do its work for a bit, I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can find that prompt. So even if we stop it right here, let's say I click back out of that chat, and then I click back in, we now have the full extent of what that prompt looks like. So I want you to act as a content writer, a very proficient SEO that speaks and write fluently, writes fluently in English. I'll let you guys pause the video and take a look at that. But I do recommend looking into all these prompts because you're going to start finding a couple of important patterns, right? They're basically tied to the most important guidelines for prompt generation, right? Here's a couple of basic ones. So number one, we want to define ChatGPT's role, right? So is it going to pretend to be a tourist guide? Is it going to pretend to be a content writer? Is it a philosopher, right? We want to give it as much context as possible. We can see that for this specific prompt, we want it to act as a content writer. Number two, we want to be as descriptive as possible. Check out how long this prompt is. And number three, we want to help it with formatting, right? ChatGPT is pretty solid with formatting. If you tell it to generate H2s, it will. If you tell it to generate code or schema markup, it also will. And so again, highly recommend looking through all these different prompts. It's going to help you with creating your own prompt. But now let's take a look at the one that I've created. Pretty basic one here. So you just have to fill in that prompt template. So I want you to act like an expert content writer, generate three frequently asked questions with the corresponding answer. Do not repeat yourself. Do not reference yourself. This is something that I also saw in another prompt. Not sure if it's perfect. Once you've provided the results, turn the FAQs into schema market code following the best schema, best practices, create the FAQs based on the following keyword and input language. And so these are the two things that we do need to include in all of our prompts, which is the prompt and the target language. We then have a teaser. This is basically just copy so that users know exactly what they're getting out of it. The prompt hint so that's the text is going to show up in the input field inside of the chat, the title, the topic, the activity, my name, my author URL, if I'd like to add one. And then I can also share this publicly if I'd like. No real need here. Pretty basic prompt. But if I were to use it, this is exactly what it looks like, right? So we have the FAQ, the question and the answer, three FAQs, and then all the way down, we have the 
schema markup code, which is pretty solid. So if you guys are using ChatGPT for a very repetitive task and you keep using that prompt over and over, it might make sense to create your own prompt and speed things up with that. Let's talk about a second extension that I've been using quite a bit, and it's the Edit GPT extension. This is what it looks like inside of Chrome. And if we actually go into the Edit GPT website, there's a few things that we can tackle with this extension. So it can proofread our essay, fix up some of those grammar mistakes, master thesis, your CV, cover letter, college admissions essay, so on and so forth, right? Lots of different options here. And how we use it is we basically give it a very simple prompt where we say proofread this with a colon and then the text that you would like it to proofread. So let me give you guys an example here. So once you've added this extension, you're going to see this button inside of ChatGPT. Let me just copy and paste my text here. So proofread this after the colon. This is what the extension is going to try to proofread and improve in terms of grammar. I'm going to click on the button so it enables the editing and now it's going through proofreading and giving me recommended changes for my content. What I can then do is I can highlight this section. I can say, okay, I accept these changes or I want to ignore these changes. I don't agree with them. So if I accept them, then it makes the changes directly inside of the chat. Pretty cool. We can do this inside of ChatGPT and we can check the grammar and the flow of our content. Highly recommend you guys check it out. Now, I do also want to quickly mention another extension that I used in a previous video and that's the web chat GPT extension just in case you guys haven't seen that last video what this does is it basically allows chat GPT to pull live data from the search results so instead of getting a result like this where chat GPT doesn't really know what to do with a query that's referencing recent news or recent data we can take that same prompt and with the web chat extension once I search that it's gonna pull again those results from Google and it's gonna create that content for me so a pretty solid extension that again removes that limitation of chat GPT not being connected to the internet. So I just wanted to make sure that I included that one in case you guys hadn't seen the last video. Now let's talk about the next extension here. This one is called ChatGPT Writer. It is also free and it basically helps you generate emails very, very quickly. There's a lot of emailing in SEO and especially in the link building space, there's a lot of back and forths that we have to work with. Here's a perfect example of where I'd use it. I sent an email out to a website owner in around 2019. And so we're going to be replying to this email. I basically reached out asking for a guest post and he got back to me giving me the specific requirements that I would have to fill to submit a guest post on his website. So if I go into my email here and I type on that extension, let's say I type in a reply. So I already come up with a reply here with a couple guest post ideas, right? I basically want to move this forward. It's been four years, but it doesn't really matter too much. I'm going to generate this reply. So it's come up with a pretty solid reply. It thanks Craig for providing all the details and the guidelines. I mean, here's a couple ideas. So here's the first one. The second one with a little breakdown of all the things that I could talk about and it ends the email in a pretty nice way. I can then insert the generated response and that's it. I've just created an email literally with one click. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect. We can fix up a few things here, but if you're sending a lot of emails, it can really speed up a lot of these processes. Now, this last Chrome extension that I want to talk about is called Merlin. I hope I'm saying that correctly. This is what it looks like in the Chrome web store and it basically is a chat GPT assistant everywhere you go online. So unfortunately, it is a paid extension with a very big basic free trial, but there's a bunch you can do outside of SEO with this Chrome extension. So if it makes sense for you, it might be a good fit to pay for it. Anyway, let me give you guys an example of how I'd use this. Let's say I have this keyword. I'm doing competitor analysis, taking a look at some of the results. And let's say that I find this title and I just want to generate a better title on the spot instead of going back into ChatGPT. So I can just type in generate three enticing blog titles that are better than this one. And it'll basically generate those titles right on the spot. So a lot of different use cases for this. I can summarize my competitor's text. I can come up with FAQs for the text directly inside of their blog post. A lot of different use cases. Let me know if you guys have other ones that I haven't covered. And do let me know if there's other Chrome extensions that I haven't covered that you guys are using. Thanks for sticking till the end, guys. I'll see you in the next one.